Google recently launched a new AI assistant, which many believe is a trial run for an upcoming project called Gemini. The tech giant is trying out several AI features to see how users respond to them. Gemini is expected to integrate everything from AlphaGo to Google's AI search. Google plans to make the AI the most powerful AI model that has ever been created, potentially changing the entire technological landscape. Today, we're going to explore the Gemini project. Later on, I'm also going to walk you through another insane new AI project from MIT and Harvard University called FAN. But before that, hello and welcome to the AI Trend, your go-to destination for all things AI. We are dedicated to bringing you the latest developments, breakthroughs, and releases in artificial intelligence technology. Without further ado, let's get started. Gemini is an AI system created by Google's AI research lab DeepMind. DeepMind is also responsible for creating AlphaGo, the AI that defeated the World Go champion Lisa Dahl back in 2016. DeepMind embarked on the Gemini project with the aim of creating a universal AI system that can handle any task with any kind of data without specific models. Gemini is still in the initial phase of this project. It's a large multimodal language model, meaning that it can process not just text but also images, videos, and more. The AI is so powerful that it can create content like turning text into video or turning speech into an image. The potential uses of Gemini are vast because of its multimodal approach. Gemini uses techniques from AlphaGo, including reinforcement learning, training through feedback and tree search, and exploring possible action outcomes. Combining all these approaches, Gemini is able to address challenges in various areas that previous AI models couldn't handle. What's special about Gemini is its architecture, which focuses on handling multiple modalities of data simultaneously. For instance, if you provide a text describing a scene, Gemini can create a corresponding image, video, and even sound. This is way beyond anything we've seen so far in other AI models. Not just that, it can also generate text from an image, video, or sound. Gemini has an advantage over other AI models because it can handle multiple types of content like text, images, and audio all at once. This is something that OpenAI's ChatGPT and GPT-4 currently struggle with. Though ChatGPT is great at generating text, it still struggles with images, video, and audio. If you wanted to use OpenAI's technology for those, you'd have to use entirely different models like DALI for images and Jukebox for audio. However, Gemini combines all of this together in a single system. Now, why is Google DeepMind working on Gemini? Well, there are a few reasons. First off, Google sees potential in improving their current tools and products with Gemini. For instance, their chatbot, Bard, could become way more smarter and efficient than it already is with the integration of Gemini. Imagine asking Gemini anything and getting the answer in any format you want. Gemini is efficient and can quickly solve problems using Google's vast resources. Second, Google has a vast database compared to other AI companies. This data comes from platforms like YouTube, Google Books, their main search index, and academic content from Google Scholar. With all this information at their fingertips, Google can train more advanced AI models and produce varied and innovative results that other AI labs cannot. The third reason is that Google plans to offer Gemini to users of its cloud platform. This opens up a huge window of opportunities, and developers can leverage Gemini's abilities for their own projects. With Gemini, developers can create unique learning resources, create assertive tech, or generate new content using ambient computing. So when can we expect to see Gemini in action? At the moment, Google hasn't announced any official date for the release of Gemini, but they've said that they will reveal more details about the project in the fall of this year. So stay tuned for more updates on this exciting development. But for now, let us know what you think about Gemini in the comments below. Do you think it will actually surpass ChatGPT and GPT-4? Or will it end up like Bard?
Now, let's get into the second part of this video and talk about FAN, which is short for Follow Anything. FAN is a new system developed by MIT and Harvard researchers that allow robots to track any object in real time using just a camera and a simple query, whether it's text, image, or a click. This insane AI system uses the transformer architecture for visual object tracking. This is the same architecture employed by AI models like OpenAI's GPT-4. Transformers, commonly known for advancing natural language processing, can do things like generate text and translate languages. The researchers were curious to see if transformers could also be effective with images. The thing is, most of the existing robotic systems that can follow objects use convolutional neural networks or CNNs. This is another type of neural network that can process images by applying filters and pooling operations. CNNs are great for tasks like image classification and segmentation, but they are a bit limited when it comes to tracking and following objects. For instance, they can only handle a fixed set of object categories that they have been trained on. They also require a lot of manual tuning and calibration to function properly in different environments and scenarios. Apart from that, they are not very user-friendly because they often need complex imputations like bounding boxes or masks to specify the target object. FAN solves these problems by using a different approach. Instead of CNNs, it uses Vision Transformers or VITs. These are transformers that can process images by splitting them into patches and treating them as sequence of tokens. VITs can learn to capture the relationships between different parts of an image, just like transformers can capture the relationships between different words in a text. This is possible because transformers are based on attention mechanisms. They can focus on the most important and relevant parts of the image for the task at hand. FAN uses VITs for real-time tracking and segmentation of objects and videos. It identifies the object and distinguishes it from the rest of the environment. To get started, all that is required is a bounding box. After that, you can guide FAN to recognize new objects by typing a description, showing an image, or clicking on the object in the video. For instance, if you want FAN to track a red ball, type red ball, show the image of the red ball, or click it in the video. FAN will then track the red ball throughout the video. You can easily switch to a different object by changing your instruction. What's mind-blowing is that FAN isn't just limited to tracking a single object. It can track multiple objects simultaneously by just giving separate instructions for each. FAN has shown very impressive performance in visual object tracking and segmentation, achieving top results in real time. It operates at about 55 frames per second on a standard GPU and can handle problems like obstructions, fast motion, and background disturbances. When compared to CNN-based methods like CM Mask, FAN was more accurate and robust. Unlike other methods of object segmentation, FAN can work across several datasets without extra training. This progress sheds light on a possible future where robots can seamlessly interact with any object in its environment. Imagine having a robot assistant that understands your commands and carries out tasks like cleaning and taking out garbage, or a robot that can play games and explore new environments. This opens up a vast window of opportunities for both humans and intelligent systems. And the best part is that FAN is not some proprietary piece of technology that only a few people have access to. The researchers have made their code and models open source so that anyone can access it and develop it further. So, if you want to get your hands on this amazing piece of tech, you can access it on the GitHub repository. If you do check it out, don't forget to share your experience with us in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on the recent developments in the world of AI.